Hello guys, today we're going to be comparing this clip to my own personal clip. So stay tuned to see how much faster I am than Tony Staggs. Alright guys, so in order for us to figure out the velocity and acceleration, we basically need to fill out this table. So um, for every 10 meters, I'm going to take the time that it takes to get the 10 meters. Um, that'll give me a velocity, which I'll have to calculate. Um, I'll get into that in acceleration. And then this bottom one here um, is just going to be the average across the whole 100 meters. So we're going to do each 10 minute, 10 meter segment, and then our overall 100 average. So we'll jump back over, we'll jump over to the software here. Um, made the footage intentionally blurry because I'm not sure um, if I'm even allowed to use this footage. But here we go, we'll figure it out anyway. Uh, it's muted as well. Alright, so first thing, we're going to skip some frames back. So this is going to count as our zero. We can see his foot is right on the line here. Alright, now that we have our stopwatch down, we're going to go over here to action and start a new time section on this frame. I'm going to press play. And then we're going to pause it and boom, we can see right there that his foot is on the 10 meter line. I'm going to write that down. It's 1.64 seconds. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so let's see there. I'm satisfied that here his body crosses the 20 meter. So now he's down to 1.28. Uh, action split. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Uh, I set this frame here. Alright, go back here. Right, in between these two frames. So this would be a limitation of this. Like, if we had a higher frame rate, we would be able to get the exact moment he crosses the 40 here. Um, but since we don't, he's kind of in between these two frames. Um, and you can see here that it's 1.16 and 1... Okay, here, sorry. Um, so 1.16 and then 1.20. So I'm going to write down 1.18 because it's halfway between those two points, which I think would be pretty accurate. However, okay, you know what, however... Okay, I'm just going to do 2.0. I just realized I'm going to split it. If I do the wrong time, as what I've written down on the screen, it's going to mess it up. So I'm just going to do 2-0. Okay, so okay, this is where it's going to become a bit harder because the camera angle is not ideal. But I'd say there he's crossing. So 1.12 again. So these velocities are going to be very similar because we're getting the same time. And the same displacement, which is 10 meters. Again, holy, this is actually cool that he's like absolutely nailing these exactly. You know, we'll just go when he scores, which is 1.124. Oh, sorry, 1.124. Okay. All right, so we've got all the times, so we can jump back into PowerPoint. So these are the times that we have. All right, and instead of adding all those numbers up, because I really cannot be bothered, um, I'm just going to go to the very start and just do it that way. All right, it's a great try, by the way. I'm uh, obviously a huge Broncos fan, so that's why I picked this clip. All right. So we went right as the ball touched the ground, so we're going old fashioned for this part. We've got the calculator instead of using an app on my computer. So we're going to start with the 100 average. So the formula for velocity is displacement divided by time. Displacement in this case is 100 meters. Uh, and we're going to divide that by 12.20 to get, Jesus, 8.196 meters per second holy shit <laughs> that's fast what the hell i mean it's not like usain bolt fast but 
Like, that's pretty fast. Jeez. Oh, I'm not looking forward to analyzing myself. Okay, so I've updated my table to now, in this second number here, include the total time taken, right? So 0, 1.62, 2.92. This is overall seconds, and this is the split for each 10 meters. Um, so because what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the velocity, the average velocity of each 10 meters using the split time. But then I need this number here for the acceleration. So uh, let's jump into it. So I'm simply just 10 divided by 1.64 uh, displacement divided by time. I'm going to go 10 divided by 1.64 equals uh, 6.09 meters a second. And I'll come back once this table's done. Okay, look at that. That is now the velocity for each, uh, each 10 meter, the average velocity for each 10 meters. Now we're going to calculate the acceleration. Okay, guys, we are now going to calculate the acceleration. So what that is, is basically the change of velocity um, over time. So we're not going to be able to calculate an acceleration here because we need to have an actual, uh, like a proper change in velocity. If we cal So I'll show you an example. So what we need to do is we need to do this number here minus this number divided by uh, the, two, the change in the two times. Um, so that's here and here. Okay. So this first number is going to look like 8.62 minus 6.09 divided by uh, 4.08 minus 1.64. Okay. So then at this point here, we have an acceleration of 1.03 meters per second. Um, and I'm going to do this little hashtag to signify squared because I'm not doing the actual squared. Um, and I'll fill out the rest of this table and get back to you. Okay, here we go. This is the table fully filled out. Um, at the end of the video as well, we're going to graph um, the comparison between me and him as well so we can just see uh, how far off I am from being an NRL superstar. Um, but yeah, just looking at this very quickly, you know, we can see the velocity for each 10 meter segment and the overall average. Um, and then the acceleration goes into a little bit more depth about this velocity. Um, as you can see here, we actually have some negative values. And that's because if you're looking at the numbers closely, you can see um, he's actually slowing down here. Um, so this is where the negative acceleration is. But right at the start here pretty good acceleration and then even some zero points here because he's maintaining the exact same velocity um, so this information here actually suggests like a pretty pretty superior um, physiological adaptations like to be able to hit a peak velocity and maintain it for like a good duration of time like this is like 20 well if you look at this this is 40 meters um, but he's not accelerating for 20 of those meters so like that really does suggest some superior adaptation. So that's that's amazing. So like I bet when we look at mine, we're not gonna see any numbers like well, obviously we're not gonna see numbers this high, but I mean like we're not gonna see numbers um at a steady state either. We're probably gonna see a lot of just jumping up and down, um, not maintaining a peak velocity. I reckon. But we'll see, we'll see. Alright guys, here is my try. <laughs> So mine's a bit different because I start on the 10 meters. Um, so we'll just quickly update this. Um, like that. Okay, we'll start with getting an overall time. Uh, just so we can... <laughs> see right off the bat how much worse I am. But here we go. I uh, hope you enjoy this clip. Oh, actually, no way. Oh, jeez, it's actually very close. We're going to go like right as I cross the try line, though. 
which is, we'll say here, right there. Wow. So initially, actually not that bad. But if you watch his clip, he's got a lot more like going around sideways players. I'm just running straight. Um, um, that's oh, and that's only over 90 meters as well. Oh, oh my god. Okay, um, 90 divided by 12.77, 7.047 meters per second. So not that bad, not that bad. Okay, um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the time frames, the splits. So we'll go right back here. Um, this is where our stopwatch starts. So we'll just chuck a new one in. All right. All right, so those are the splits. Now I'm going to put them in and also the actual times as well. Okay, I've put the times in and I've also just changed this um, 90 meter time by 0 0.3 seconds because I've calculated all the splits to be 12.74, not 12.77. So then that's changed this velocity slightly. Um, so now I'm going to fill in this tab and put in the velocities. Um, so we know that's just... 10 divided by this, 10 uh, divided by this, 10 divided by this, this, so forth. Right, and finally, I'm just going to fill in the last column, which is the uh, uh, acceleration. So we just know that's the change in velocity um, and the time. Okay, guys, and I have finished the table. So um, as you can see, there's actually a period here where I'm not accelerating, similar to Katoni Stags, except I've got it over a slightly longer period. Um, and that would be purely because I reckon for him, it's much harder to achieve his peak velocity since he's kind of, and maintain it since he was wiggling. I could hit it really early because I just was in open space straight away. Um, but then you can see here, oh sorry, this is supposed to be negative as well. Um, a lot of deceleration here and that's because if you look at the velocities slowing down like crazy and if you watch the clip um over like these last so yeah according to my velocities from here is where so let's so let's look at this so 50 meters so i have a good acceleration and i'm maintaining that up to 50 which is here so this part here, I've hit my peak velocity and I'm maintaining. And then the second I hit my 60 here is when I'm slowing down. And then here at the end, I obviously slow down because I've made it and I'm scoring. But it's very interesting that at this point, at this point here, I, I think from my memory, I'm still sprinting as fast as I can. It's not until about here when I start to slow down. So, um, that's very interesting. Um, but obviously the, it's because these numbers here start to go down and that's because fatigue is being onset. Um, so I'm just trying to run as fast as I can, but I can't hit the same speed cause I'm fatigued. Um, okay. Now to fin finish off for you guys, I'm going to chuck this data into an Excel sheet. Okay, right, so here it is guys, this is it. So as we can see, these are the two times. So uh, I don't even know if I need to tell you who is who, you could probably guess. Uh, so obviously I'm velocity eight. So there's this point here where I've actually got slightly better velocity than him. <laughs> um, and then it stops pretty quickly. I can maintain for this very, very quickly hit my peak and maintain and then slow drop off he takes a bit longer to get to his peak but remember you know he's running around defenders and stuff um but then he can maintain a much higher velocity um and then there's a slight decline and if i had have mapped his last 10 meters it would have been an extra slight dip as well but overall 
honestly not too bad i was expecting a lot worse so i'm quite happy with these results um but that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed um and if you're interested in content like this let me know um then i can compare myself to other players other tries um or anything like that just let me know thank you guys so much for watching and uh go the broncos